All right, welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. And in today's mod, we are looking at the simple farming mod. Look at all this stuff. There's a there's a crap ton to look at. And I'm just going to say this. If you don't have JEI, you're going to want to get it because there's a lot to cover. And there's a lot of recipes that I'm not going to tell you every single one of them because there's a lot. Now, to starters, there's a ton of... A ton more plants and there's a little raccoon over there okay so how you get these plants is most of the seeds you get by just simply breaking grass so for starters we have zucchini which I'll show you the a mod I'm using I don't remember exactly what mod but it shows the little food bars I'm sure if you just look up food bars or something you'll find the mod but it shows you how many food bars that's one and a half now we have tomatoes which is also one and a half yeah we have a lot more we have radish which is only one we have yam yeah yam yeah i didn't even know why is yam looking like a potato i honestly don't know what yam is i just know it's gross uh then we have a sweet potato which is different than a normal potato just like this just one we have rice and rye, which look pretty much just like uh, just like wheat. And then we get rice and a, bun a little rice bundle and a little rye bundle. Um, Mr. Raccoon, can you just do this? Uh, we have radish, which is like beets. I didn't put the radish in there. I'm so nice. That's awesome. We have sorghum, which it has been growing for a little while, but it's fine. You get one a little, a little one of these sorghums. I think I'm saying it right. Never even heard of it. Uh, next we have potatoes. So now potatoes, I think, um, well, let's see. You can still plant with a normal potato, but you can also get seeds from the grass. Okay, Mr. Raccoon, get the heckles out of here, you stupid thing. Uh, yeah, also have soybeans. And I don't think it's this mod, but it's either this mod or the other mod. I can right click to uh, harvest them. Then we have spinach. We have peppers. We have pea pods, peanuts, oat onion, uh, knaf fiber, which you get knaf fiber, obviously, and then lettuce, uh, you have ginger, you also have a, like, little grape tree, okay, it's pretty dope, you have eggplants, you have cucumbers, you have cotton, you have corn, cassava, Bro, are you stealing from my chest? You idiot, okay, you also have a carrot, you also have carrots, which you have the carrot seed, which is pretty cool, there's broccoli, there's barley, then we have uh, honeydew, squash, cantaloupe, and you, and you can grow your own sunflower seeds, which is nice. Um, the cantaloupe, or the honeydew, I honestly don't know what honeydew is. I d it's weird, it's weird. Um, then we have like these four flowers that are also used, uh, practically their seeds are used for things, which is a little weird in my opinion. But it makes sense. You have cumin, marshmallows, yeah, whatever. So next we have some uh, trees. And I believe these grow just randomly randomly throughout the world. Um, you can get their saplings and you can get their little fruit logs, which I forgot I'm creative. So you right click to harvest them. So you have mangoes, which is this is easy even though I'm in creative. We have cherries. We have bananas. Uh, we have apricots. We have an apple tree, which easy golden apples, just saying. Olives. Um, too bad it's the green olives, because black olives all the way. Uh, orange. A pear. And a plum. Now, these trees are going to be like extremely nice. I mean, it, it's just extremely nice. And one thing I'm discovering, that this is just an extremely nice mod for farming overall. Like, I, I'm a farmer, okay? So, I... I'm definitely going to use these trees in a farm. Definitely going to use a lot of these. Um, the trees are specifically helpful, especially if you get like a farming villager. That's just even more, even more emeralds. I'm just saying. Um, then we have a few plants that also grow, which it's a blueberry bush, raspberry bush, strawberry bush, blackberry bush. You just harvest them with uh, right click. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And I just zoomed in. It's fine. Uh, then you can also get like this cactus fruit. It's called a, uh, a, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's fine. But we have cactus fruit that we can just infinitely eat. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we have all these. Yeah, you can pick these up, too, which is awesome. 
and you have all the saplings looking like that. Now we have a lot, the rest of the items, which there's a lot. There, there's a lot. So with the rye, rice, barley, and oat hay, why did I say oat hay? Oat, you can make bread and hay bales. They're just like wheat. And similarly, whenever you use uh whenever you use wheat, like in these cake recipes, which we'll get that to that in a second, you can always switch them out with the rice and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Now, a few recipes I will show you is first vinegar, which is important if you want to make a wheel of cheese, because a wheel of cheese requires some milk and vinegar. For vinegar, you just need a glass bottle and then wheat, rice, rye, oat, whatever, any of those. Same with a cake. You can use any of those wheat-like substances, but you also need sugar, eggs, a torch, and sprinkles, which for sprinkles, you just go over here, you just need any type of dye. It doesn't matter. Any type of dye, and then sugar. So then also there's a chocolate cake, um, which there's chocolate sugar wheat all that kind of stuff and with chocolate you just need sugar cocoa beans and some milk uh the next there's like two little items and i didn't put put it in here but there is a music disc that comes with this mod but there's a scarecrow which i think it's for just for decoration and then there's a brewing barrel which the brewing barrel helps make like all the different drinks such as like there's beer wine all that kind of stuff so pretty much leather hay bale a uh, carved pumpkin and a stick for the uh, scarecrow. And then for the brewing barrel, of course, you need a barrel. You need a bucket, some iron, and a few fruit logs, which you get from the fruit trees. Now, here is where I say you definitely need JEI. There's just a few, a few food items. We have, we have some raspberry pies. We have some sandwiches, soups, all that kind of stuff. But then we have another whole chest. I mean, we have pizza. Pizza's pizza. But look at all this stuff. There's a ton of it. Like, you can cook with a furnace. Uh, you have to do a bunch of crafting. Like, let's look. Uh, pie. Is this? Oh, I first thought that was a pumpkin pie. Like, look at all these. Like, it's pretty similar to pumpkin pie and crafting, but you use all these different fruits. But then there's, like... Uh, let's just do at simple farming. There's like this candy cane, which you just should take sugar, which is super easy to make. Wait, actually, that's not horrible. That's not horrible for a meal. Uh, there's bacon now, which I believe, yeah, you just take a raw pork chop. There's a ton of things in this mod. Uh, there's now horse meat. That's a little weird, but okay. Uh, stuffed corn zucchini. I mean, that's that's a lot of food, I'm just saying. But yeah, you get the gist. There is a ton with this mod. It's perfect if you like farming, and I love farming in, in uh in this. Uh yeah, so there's like I said, a ton. You should definitely experience this because this is really uh this is really awesome. Like I keep on saying JEI is what you have to do, and oh you can walk through the scarecrow, the more you know. But, uh, yeah, I was planning on showing you every single recipe, but there's, like, there's a lot. Like, uh, let's look at, wait, oh, I th at first I thought that said 45, oh my gosh. Uh, you need spinach, quinoa seeds, whatever, and an egg. Um, it's, like, you, as you can see, it's also compatible with the different mods, so you can use different types of eggs. Um, there's even a fish sandwich, which you need a ton of different fish. So yeah, this is a great mod. I definitely recommend that you use it. Okay, that's a different mod proccing, but I, you definitely should use this in your normal uh, normal survival because this is just a nice vanilla experience that is boosting up, uh, just boosting up the experience. It's really, it's really cool. I mean, I'm playing just a hardcore world playing this and it's really, it's really cool. I really like it. Um, so yeah, uh, that has been the simple farming mod i have definitely gonna leave this in the description like i said you should also get jei so i'll probably leave that in the description as well but yeah i want to thank you for, guys for watching i'm just gonna keep on repeating this this is an awesome farming mod but yeah thank you guys for watching and if you like the video you should definitely like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video